What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Back in the paint booth, I almost said shop. Getting this yep, electrical got finished up. the lights. So, Chris sent me a video over the weekend with this thing running and blowing. It's something vicious. I've never been in a paint booth before, so it's uh well not a downdraft. Not a downdraft. Not a downdraft. Yep. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about that, but now we're finishing up this electrical. Hope we can get that wrapped up today. Chris said something about getting the frame painted tomorrow, so we'll see if that we'll see if that happens. Why not? Well, we can paint it right now. <laughs> that's true. So we have one big hiccup: is we have no air compressor here. That's the thing. Yep. Yeah, we have no air compressor. The air compressor is at my house. I wanted to buy a new one, but money's getting tight right now as far as the all the other expenses. And that one's heavy. So yeah. I have a 27 gallon in my house, uh, just a cheapo Harbor Freight, but it works good and you'll be able to spray just fine, but you won't be able to continuously spray yeah. everything. Uh, but I think it would work. So that's kind of where we're at. I mean, the only thing we have right now is hook up the lights and uh, get, the, get the air compressor picked up. But you can see this is what Chris has got going on. He ran a what? What's this called? Well, this one's just a... Usually I'd use a glow rod. I don't have one with me today. Um, so this is just a piece of metal stock for pushing through. But usually I use a glow rod, push it down, be able to tie the wire to it and pull it back through. We use this for chasing through walls, all sorts of things like that. A lot of times they'll have it to where it's threaded ends. So we'll be able to put a bunch of them together and maybe be able to push it in somewhere like 20 feet. So hmm. this... Uh, yeah, it just works to be able to push through stuff because, you know, this foam, you know, it's not the softest stuff. This wall is not hollow. So like in homes, the interior walls are hollow, but the exterior walls have insulation. So yeah, it's, it's a thing. Oh, so you have a big hole up here that you're yeah, coming I through? Yeah, I a three inch hole of the hole saw. So you can see where he's got this running out. And we're going to do this times six, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, times five. So times six. Well, we're almost done with this one. <laughs> it's still, we're still tuning yeah, in six times. I guess that's six. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, that's where we're at. Stay tuned. We'll see you the rest of the video. All right, guys, quick update. Got all the wires ran through. You see, all six. Wasn't too bad, huh, Chris? No, not at all. Now we just need to do the ones in these top corners here. Um, that will probably be easier, actually, because we don't have to get through the foam and do all that fun stuff. But yeah, they're actually all, all these ones, they're, they're all wired together. There's, you know, the three lights wired into one right up here. Same thing happens here comes down will feed into the control panel uh, we just have to wire up each individual light that's in the wall not a big deal mind you all this stuff it's very very simple uh it's not it's not complicated in any way so i mean it's just you just run through wire them together it's, it's different than what you normally deal with i mean this is not uh, uh some of the stuff you know most electricians probably have a little bit of issue with just because it's so simple and and kind of european styled because everything is 240 volt in here you know the motors are all three phase these lights it's 240 um so it's just different nothing's grounded i mean it's just a different deal than what we're used to dealing with here in the states so yeah a lot of electricians would trip on it but me i know how how much you can get away with and I usually ride that line pretty close with, you know, stuff, my personal stuff. Um, there's no point in spending extra time and extra money on shit you don't have to. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So now Jared's gonna th start throwing these lights in the wall. I'm gonna start working on these above ones and then I'm gonna wire them up into the control panel that's outside. And uh, and all the lights will be done. At that point, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup, whatnot, get some of this foam out of here, all that fun stuff. And, the only thing that is not finished on this paint booth at that point will be the heater. 
and uh, that is not something we're going to be doing right away because we need to paint today not today but like tomorrow so uh we're not gonna worry about getting the burner going right away but yeah we'll get back at it All right guys, quick update. Obviously you can see, after all these videos, lights are on. Finally some lights. We look pretty now, he's like modeling lights. Oh yeah, it's all purple. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll just leave it there. That's great. Yeah, we'll yeah. just leave it there. So, uh, it's Jared's favorite color, lavender. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna going to clean up, get all this stuff, blown out yeah i think we're just going to turn the fans on take the blower kind of it's it, it sucks really hard so you guys seen some of the other videos where we were throwing chunks and it would just suck them right out so as long as we kind of make a move around a little bit down underneath mind you there's gonna be filters here there's gonna be filters up above um so we're not super concerned about it but we'd rather get it out of here so yeah we're gonna get started on that stay tuned guys We're gonna call it a wrap for today. We'll show you guys what we did in here. Finally put the filters in. They smell funky. <laughs> and I understand how they work because on the top side they're sticky. And I, I, I don't quite understand. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like having oil, or Jared said it's kind of like having oil like on a K&N filter or something like that. As you can see, it's still purple. We never painted it. But we, uh, we do have a sense of accomplishment that now we can use the paint booth. Uh, the blowers, you guys have seen that those are all up and running. We now have filters in the ceiling. We did not do the filters in the floor. That is just so stuff doesn't get blown out to the atmosphere and um, we don't care. So we have the filters just in the ceiling that are the ones to make sure that we don't get any nasties into the paint booth. But, what do you think, Jared? You happy? I'm happy. It seems so much smaller. Yeah. We lost that like, 12 uh, over 12 inches in here. Yeah, it feels like you could touch it. <laughs> but it's so clean now, like it just looks clean. Yeah, yeah, it definitely has a decent look to it. Besides the scratched walls. Oh yeah, scratch walls. We never painted anything, you know. My um, messed up. Yeah, there's a sharpie mark where Jared um, luckily oh, did not put a light. And the lights, you know, you, I'm sure you guys remember from the unboxing, all the lenses are broken and, you know, the glass form. So we didn't put any of that in, but it is still functional. We still can paint in here. Uh, I mean, we just have to worry about not spraying paint on the lights but it is a downdraft and it has three huge blowers on this thing so it should keep it to where i mean there's a lot of guys who paint without respirators so not too worried about much overspray on these lights and if it happens we deal with it but hope you guys are having a good week uh i'm sure you guys are looking forward to seeing some of our projects like we are the, the bronco coming up that's why this paint booth was so critical to have ready we next day or two we're going to be painting the uh, chassis and the axles we can start that assembly 
put you know all suspension together, engine in place, whatnot. You guys will see it all uh, be happening very soon. Uh, again, I know we've had a few of you guys do, do it already, but continue. Throw down in the comments what color you want this Bronco to be. It's turquoise. Don't tell Jared. So just let us know and we'll see you soon. See you.